no. Yeah. Because I changed my major to computer engineering technology, and it's not accredited. So I feel like that's a yes and no question. You meet people, you know, you meet people that, that you're connected to for life, you know, you get the experience. Um, it takes you, it drags you basically, and it gives you, it prepares you for life. There's a lot of people who didn't go to college, and they were working, they got the experience, and they were able to get a management position or administrative position, and it's fine. Yeah, it was, it was worth it. Some of us who did go to college, you know, we had to go through internship, volunteering, just to get the experience, just, it's like almost we have to do the same amount that someone who didn't go to school. Not, not that I'm, nobody's knocking them, but it's just that for us college students, it's kind of hard because we have to do like 10 times more just to get the same position that they want or sometimes even better. Yeah, I've learned so many things. I know I wouldn't, learn, I wouldn't have learned on the streets. So when I graduate, silence. We'll wait for it to come. Education is a business. It's a business. It's a business. I don't know about the degree being as useful as it's supposed to be, but it's not all about the degree, it's right. about the right. journey. Right. So that's what it is. That's what's yeah. up. If you don't have the passion or drive, you're just in school thinking that, oh, okay, I'm going to get this degree and this job is going to be guaranteed. It's not, you like, you have to work your ass off in every area of life. If you think that you're just going to sit in college, get a degree, and then waiting for somebody to hire you, you're, you're just losing your mind. Like. So the people who are teaching us is, not all of them teach us from an experience base, someone teach us from practice, from what they learned from reading the books. That's so at the end of the day, they just passing it down to us. That's a true. lot of them did not actually work in the field. There are some that we do appreciate that did work in the field, so That's it do true. help us in the, in the future to say like, okay, this is what I'm doing. While some of them who only just read from the books is just teaching us from what they learned. If you feel like that's the best choice for you, knock it out. Just go right ahead. But honestly, don't do it. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. Like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Some parents can't afford it, so they don't want to be in that situation of debt. That's what a lot of us is in now, and we're trying to pay for that now. So it's like, and we have yet to even find a job. Well, I can't speak for everybody. So especially as black people, like, we need to try to make our, be entrepreneurs, like, empower each, each other, try to build businesses for each other. Just, there's so many minorities doing it. Like we have to empower each other. If you're thinking that you have to, you're gonna rely on the CEO, a white man, to hire you, you will start at the bottom of the totem pole. Like there's no way you think you're gonna get hired to the top. Like it's a business. If you have another passion, go for it. Then you can always go back to school to do whatever you want to do. So it's like I say, do go to college. But at the same time, it's a personal decision. It won't knock you down. But even if you, even if you did go to high school. And you didn't go to college, you can always go. All right, we out. How much we getting paid? We Since y'all talking about job. Where's our W-2? Where's the W-2? How much we getting paid? We have to the hospital. Soon. May God bless you, big boom. God bless you, but where's God the money? You. Oh yeah, see, talk. Remember? See and talk. And we out. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you.